Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve uh, June 2021 paper 2 variant 1. The topics are document production, data manipulation and presentation. In this video we will be mainly uh, doing or solving the questions of document production. So let's start with task 1. Task 1 is evidence document. Open the file j2121 evidence.rtf. Make sure that your name, center number and candidate number will appear on every page of this document. Which means that we can either go for header or footer since they didn't specifically mention it here in the question paper. Save this document in your work area as a new name and uh, when we open, we are opening it as an RTF file. So when we save, we will be saving it as a word file. So let's open j2121 evidence.rtf and then I'm going to insert the header so insert tab then header and I always prefer the three blank columns which will make sure proper alignment and spacing in between the data so I have to give my name then center number and then the candidate number let it be triple zero one then close the header and footer save this file click on file save as and then take your folder and then give the name as j2121 evidence followed by your candidate number and save this as word document click on save button so now evidence file is saved now task 2 document you are going to edit a document to help organize a triathlon a corporate house style must be used three paragraph styles have already been created an additional paragraph style must be created and applied to the document as instructed open the file j2121 triathlon so first we have to open the file this is also an rtf file the page setup is set to a4 portrait orientation with 2.5 centimeter margin do not make any changes to these settings the t and body style has been created stored and applied do not make any changes so the settings are already done and uh, the style ha has been already applied so we do not have to make any changes to these but we have to save this uh, document in our work area as a new name and also we have to change the type so file save as open the folder and uh, name it as ev pack and save as type word document and then save now first evidence place in your evidence document a screenshot to show this file has been saved make sure there is evidence of the file type so this is my folder i'm going to ev pack and then i'm going to take the properties and i have to take this screenshot of this i'm making use of snipping tool for this paste it as evidence one and save now next question remove any page page breaks from the document page breaks means the break which uh, takes you to a new page to know whether there are page breaks in the document or not we can click on home tab and there is one icon show or hide so if you click on this you can see these are uh, line breaks and if you scroll down you will be able to see whether there are page breaks or not so when you scroll down you can see there is one page break here one method is click before this page break and use the delete button from the keyboard and delete the page break scroll down and check for other page breaks yeah there is one page break here this one another method is select this page break alone and then use the backspace so the page break will be removed and then check if there are more page breaks or not in the document that's it now uh, to remove or to hide these icons icons that the line break icon you have to click on show or hide again so that will be removed and then save the file try to save the file after each question so that it will not affect you if any technical issue arises it will not affect your file now place in the header your name sender number and candidate number right aligned place in the footer automated page number so first the header insert header again i'm going for three columns but i have to fill only the right aligned field so here i'm going to give my name then sender number 
and then the candidate number close the header and footer and uh, about the footer they mentioned that only page number is needed so we don't have to go for footer we can go directly to page number bottom of page and choose the center aligned position then close the header and footer the header alignment matches no other text or placeholders are included in the header or footer areas headers and footers are displayed on all pages now at the start of the document enter the title so this is the title that we have to enter in the start of the document so scroll towards up and click before the first word press enter key and in the first line you have to give the title triathlon and now question number five create and store the following style basing it on the default paragraph style so we have to start creating the style now and the style given here is t and title so to create a style you have to go to home tab and there is a style section you can click on the style manager icon and you can find a new style icon here and uh, here you have to give the name as tn title make sure this is paragraph style and style based on you keep it as no style and uh, font style is serif currently it's sans serif so change that to serif so i'm going to choose times new roman and uh, next is uh, 34 point and sender so choose 34 alignment is sender then uh, bold italic so choose bold and italic then single zero zero so go to format paragraph this is about paragraph spacing uh, line spacing so choose line spacing as single before must be zero and after also must be zero click ok click ok now apply tn style title style to the title text tender in step four already it is applied so just make sure by selecting it again and then clicking on tn title and then they are asking for the tn style evidence so you have to go to this tn title you can click right click click on modify so this shows all the uh, uh, the changes and all the formatting to show the paragraph you you can go to format paragraph and then you can take keep this window also here and then take the screenshot and paste it as evidence too yeah here evidence too save now next is select the subheading general and the following text up to including the paragraph ending competitors in each category change the page layout so that only this text is displayed in two columns of equal width with the 1.5 centimeter so first we have to find out where this paragraph is ending so from the subheading general to to this particular ending of the paragraph we have to change it into two columns so to find that phrase first you have to go to home tab and then find or control plus f and then give the uh, paragraph and you can see this is the second last paragraph so i'm going to start from the beginning from general till the second last paragraph till here i have to select go to layout columns more columns then choose two and spacing must be 1.5 cm since my computer is having an inch uh, measurement i have to make sure that i'm typing cm you can change the settings uh, in the microsoft office now click ok so now you can see the page la layout is applied next is apply bulleted uh, bullets to the text from swim to one hour 20 minutes so this is the bullets select the bullets and click on home tab apply the bullets we didn't finish that question the bullets are intended 1.5 centimeter from left margin the list is in single line spacing with no space before or after each line there is a six point space after the last item so first we are going for intendation select the bullets and then if you go to paragraph options you can get the paragraph window this is intendation before text is left after text is um, right so they said that 1.5 centimeter before text or left that is done and the space between these bulleted points must be single and they said it should be before zero and after zero no no spacing means zero point so keep both before and after as zero 
so this is the output now the third point is there is a six point space after the last item so click after the last item and go to paragraph options and then make sure the spacing is single and after is six that's it save the file now question number eight the style name tn subhead has already been created stored and applied to the six subheadings modify the tn subhead style so only the following formatting is applied so we have to modify tn subheading see this is the tn subheading style right click on it and click on modify and uh, check the question paper serif font 18 point and center so serif i'm going for times new roman and uh, 18 then they said center alignment italic all caps so only italics are there we have to remove bold and uh, underline choose italics for caps go to format font and choose all caps click ok it's uh, it's applied here you can see the properties in the window itself now paragraph line spacing single and 0 and 9 so go to format paragraph so this must be single this must be 0 and this must be 9 point so definitely they are going to ask for the evidence so I am going to take the screenshot from here itself now you can see all the subheadings got changed according to the new formatting now evidence 3 we have to take the screenshot of subheading and then place it, it place it as evidence 3 so scroll down and then paste this screenshot for evidence 3 now question number 9 format the paragraph that starts this is an important part so first we have to find out where this paragraph is so I'm going to use find option yeah here it is so this paragraph must be formatted in such a way that it is indented one centimeter from both left and right and displays an external three to four point black border so I have to select this paragraph first and then indentation so go to paragraph option before one centimeter and after also that means left and right one centimeter then click OK so indentation is done now we have to keep a uh, an external border of three to four points so go to this borders option go for borders and shading it's an external border so we can go for box and three to four now available one is three so choose three make sure this is paragraph if you choose text each line will be uh, uh, will have a border we need only for paragraph so click ok so this is the external border save the file now next locate the table in the document delete the entire column and condense with the heading distance so we have already seen a table here yeah this is the table so there is no borders for the table so let me give borders to the table first so that it will be easy for me oh okay now delete the entire column heading distance so this must be deleted right click on this distance then delete cells delete entire column so it's deleted now format the table so that the left column looks like this so i have to select this left column first i have to merge so go to layout tab click on merge or right click and merge and then I have to change the direction so right click and there is text direction or there is text direction here also click on text direction and choose the text direction that we need and uh, it should be wrapped so make it in two lines and it should be center aligned so choose the center aligned option and uh, next is bold it's bold with white color so make it bold now I have to fill it with uh, uh, sorry the shading so go to design shading and choose black so automatically it will become white so this is looking exactly like the question paper 
Now make sure that the TN table style is applied to all the data in columns 2, 3 and 4. So I have to choose column 2, 3, 4 and then go to home tab and then apply TN table. So it's applied. Then text in columns 2, 3 and 4 displays on one line. So basically only two are there with a, within in two lines. I can either select only those two or I can select the whole data in uh, 2, 3, 4. Right click, go to table properties, then cell, options, unwrap and then fit. So it's in one line now. Next the table borders and all data fit within the column. So you can see there is an extra space which is not fitting the column. So select the table and then go to layout, go to auto fit the window. So it will fit to the column but make sure that it is fitting the column uh, properly. You can do visual verification. Now one point black internal and external grid lines are displayed. So we have to make sure all the lines outside line and internal both external and internal lines are one point. So select the table go to borders and shading and choose this as one point click OK. Now there is a six point space after the table similar to the bulleted points. So basically there must be a space here. So first keep a space by clicking before the word high and then click on the space then go to paragraph option now it's already single line spacing and with six point space so it's confirmed click ok save the file now next question import the image j2121 swim.png and place it in the paragraph beginning please follow the race directors so first we have to find out where this paragraph is here so we have to import an image you can just copy and paste from the source folder this is the image j2121 swim copy and paste this image before this paragraph this is the image now we have to reflect the image so that the hand is on the left so basically we have to flip horizontally select the image go to format tab and uh, go to rotate option flip horizontal now you can see the hand is on the left side. Next, it is resized to a width of 2.5 cm by maintaining the aspect ratio. So right click, click on size and position. Now width, yes, width is 2.5 cm. So width 2.5 cm. Make sure this aspect ratio is locked. Then click OK. Next is it is aligned to the right of the column and top of the paragraph starting. Uh, please follow the race directors, the text wrap around the image. So basically this should be aligned with the line, the first line. This first line should come along with this image on the top. For that first we have to wrap the image. So select the image, wrap text, square. So it is get it, it is aligned and then we have to place it on the right of the column. So I can either use drag option or I can even use the arrow key buttons from the keyboard. Save the file. Then question number 14, spell check and proofread the document. The list, table and indented paragraph with the border are not split over the columns or pages. There are no widows or orphans. There are no blank pages. Styles are applied consistently. Spacing is consistent. So we have to check by the spelling and grammar by going to review tab and then make sure that you are on the first line and then do the, ch the spelling and grammar checking okay that's it now the widows and orphans we can check by visual verification there are no widows and orphans in this file so that's it and then we can take the printout. This total mark for document production is 30. If you manage your time and then if you do all the questions in the correct order, definitely you are going to score all 30 marks. So next video will be about access, the next part of this question paper. Thank you so much.